Today, civilians are increasingly affected by war. The HD Center's humanitarian mediation program tries to reduce suffering by improving humanitarian access and stopping violence against civilians and aid workers. At its headquarters in Geneva and in the conflict-affected regions, it brings together armed groups and governments for frank discussions. In such places as northwestern Pakistan and Darfur, the HD Center leads continuous dialogue to tackle urgent humanitarian problems. Everyone's serious, it's just they have different objectives, you know. They're serious about their objectives, I'm sure. Are they serious about the same objectives that we want is, a, is another question. But I think they're all very serious. Just they may not have the same agenda as we have. So the challenge is to try and get a coincidence of agendas. So you have a common ground. Since war broke out in Darfur in 2003, almost three million people have fled their homes. To find practical answers to the ongoing humanitarian crisis, the HD Center brings UN agencies together with the main opposition movements. You have in Darfur the most displaced people in the world. We have some suggestion we want to discuss with you today. In a series of practical discussions, participants have agreed on a number of measures to ensure safe humanitarian access and to reduce civilian suffering. It's not politically sensitive for us, and certainly not for HD Centre. It's not politically sensitive at all to deal with guys on either side, terrorists, alleged terrorists or not, whatever they may be. That's one of the flexibilities or the strengths of, uh, of this place. Following intense violence in northwest Pakistan in spring 2009, the organisation convened a high-level meeting to address the urgent humanitarian crisis. Whether it's half a million or up to a million displaced, the fact is it is a major humanitarian issue which is continuing, including displaced populations and other vulnerable non-displaced populations who need humanitarian assistance. For the first time, key Pakistani and humanitarian representatives sat together at a table behind closed doors. Participants freely expressed their needs directly to each other. Together they identified solutions for issues of common concern. I understood you correct. The dialogue could be by the humanitarian actors directly with militants for their... With the full knowledge. With a full knowledge and support of the government. Whenever the dialogue is established, the government can have to accept it. That's all right. Okay. Good. Thank you. Good dialogue. Good dialogue. Start it. The humanitarian mediation program of the center is an ongoing process and will continue. <laughs>